naming alkyl halides according to UPAC rules. Halides have the same priority as alkyl groups. What does that mean? All it means is you treat a halide just like you treat any alkyl group, of course, with the difference being the name of the halide. So to name alkyl halides, you just name it exactly the same way as the alkanes with the following modifications. Rule 1 and only. So the only change for naming alkyl halides is to use the name of the proper halide when it's a group. So for fluorine, you use the word fluoro. For chlorine, it's chloro. Bromine is bromo. Iodine is iodo. So as you see here, you're basically using the proper prefix with the O ending instead of the I N E ending. All the other rules are the same. Numbering, direction, uh, alphabet, everything else is the same. The only thing is different is just the names of these groups. So here are some examples. Top right, look for the longest chain. It has five carbons. There's an iodo group and an ethyl group. Number in the direction that gives the first substituent the lowest number, and that's the direction that gives the I number two, so from right to left. Okay, I is number two, ethyl is number three, but when we put the name together, we put the E before the I according to the alphabet, therefore the name is 3-ethyl, 2-iodopentane. Like I said, the same thing as naming alkanes, the only difference is the halo group on there. Okay, let's try the bottom right. Again, we can number either from right or from left, and we still get number two for the first substituent. Therefore, we number from left to right, because in this case, the chloro comes before methyl in the alphabet. Therefore, it's 2-chloro, 3-methyl, butane. And the left example is a cyclic pentane or cyclopentane ring. We number it from starting from the fluorine or from the methyl. Either way, we will get one, two, four. So which way do I go? I go with the one that appears first in the alphabet. So it's one, four difluoro, two methyl cyclopentane. Okay, so I'm gonna just confirm it again. The same rules as naming alkanes. The only difference is the name of the alkyl group versus the name of the halo group. That's it. There's nothing to it. I wish everything is as easy as naming alkyl halides.